Round one highlights from the web.com tours Albertson's Boise Open presented by Kraft Nabisco held at Hillcrest Country Club in Boise, Idaho. And we'll kick it off with the best story of the week. That man right there, that is Chad Pfeiffer, a retired Army colonel who lost his leg while serving overseas in Iraq. And he is making his first start in the web.com tour thanks to a sponsor's exemption. He is a local guy, tons of local support, support nationwide. Actually, Arnold Palmer even gave him a little pep talk before his first round. So Pfeiffer will go on to tap in for par here on the first, finishing with a four over 75. He has some work to do on Friday, but an absolutely incredible story. He has battled through so much and is finally living out his dream by trying to make some professional starts on the web.com tour and PGA tour. That is Kelvin Day chipping in Four par on the 12th. He would find his groove starting on 15, where he strung together three consecutive birdies for a one under 70. And this is Ryan Spears on the 17th. This was so long they had to use the aerial camera so we get the whole thing into view as he drops in a bomb there from 45 feet out. Runner up earlier this season at the United Leasing Championship, he would finish with a three under 68. But that's still seven off the lead. These guys go low week in and week out on the web.com tour. Edward Lore on the 16th. This one, another one from downtown from 30 feet out, curls it in for Eagle. OSU alum is three top 25s this season. And he entered his closing stretch at one under, but that Eagle right there vaults him up to three under par, which is where he will pick it back up on Friday morning. Aaron Watkins on the 14th. Guys are making it from all over the place as he connects for birdie there on 14 as he would finish with a four under 67, turning it around, coming off three consecutive missed cuts. So Watkins trying to get it going this week. Steve Allen, the Aussie, makes a long one here on 11. He would birdie 12 as well to finish with a five under 66. He began on the back nine. And then we'll take you over to Patton Kazire on the 17th. Auburn alum, he's number one on the money list, but still looking for that first W. He does have two runner-up finishes, and when he gets hot, he is unstoppable. He would go on to birdie four in a row, 15, 16, 17, and 18 for a five under 66. That still leaves him five off the lead of this man. Martin Pillar, this on the A4 birdie to get to 10 under par. He had a bogey free 10 under 61 on Thursday. Began this week 52nd on the money list, but with the win projected to improve to third. So a big start for Martin Pillar.